Hello everybody, it is Pretzel. What you guys just saw was my very first intro. Tell me if you guys like it or not. You guys decide whether I keep it or change it. Let's get to the topic at hand. This is going to be the very first episode of... I have no idea what I want to name it, guys. I need your help. Please leave name suggestions down there in the comments. What this show is going to be, basically, is going to be every Sunday, and it's going to involve gaming news. It's going to be just things I pick up, things that catch my eye, and things that look interesting. I also need help in this. If you guys find anything interesting about the week, private message me on YouTube. I will set up an, an email for this later, but at the moment, let's keep to YouTube, since I have a very low population of viewers at the moment. Okay. So let's get to news. Let's get to games coming out. Dishonored, a game being produced by Bethesda, known for Skyrim at the moment, and is being developed by Arcane with a K. Made who made Bioshock 2. Very good game. Very awesome multiplayer. I need to finish that. Along with Arcane will be Mike, I believe his last name is Wilson. I can't remember for the life of me. He worked on Thief 3 Deadly Shadows, which you're gonna see a lot in this game. This Dishonored is a stealther game with a little bit of magic. It is set in steampunk genre of colonial, about colonial times, I think. But you can obviously tell it's steampunk, but steampunk, excuse me, with everything that's in it. It looks really cool, amazing stealth options, very cool magic spells. I can't wait for it, personally. Next, let's get to Torchlight 2. Torchlight 2 pre-orders are available on Steam for $19.99 USD. There is no exact date at the moment, but Steam says it will come out in summer 2012 of this year. Now, I'm a huge Disney fan, and I love Epic Mickey. Epic Mickey 2 is coming out. The Power of 2 releases this fall. You can play as Mickey and Oswald, which will lead to two-player co-op. Also, Diablo 3. Diablo 3 is coming out in three weeks, guys. I'm excited. I'm going to be playing that nonstop, and I will be showing you guys videos of me leveling, class overviews, and everything I can. And speaking of Diablo 3, Diablo 3 PvP and Arenas will probably not be launching with launch. There was a blue post on Battle.net, not Battle.net, but Diablo3.com, um, saying that Diablo 3 PvP will not be on launch. It will probably be, probably be added in as a patch. And speaking of Blizzard, Blizzard has released a new easy World of Warcraft item recovery system over battle.net slash support. You can recover deleted items, keyword on that S, so you recover multiple items every 30 days, getting them instantly. Disenchanted items will re require a little bit of investigation but those items you will get instantly blizzard has also released the pet battling into the mr pandera beta which i'm excited for as well i'm gonna be playing basically everything i'm listing guys i'm excited for everything also guild wars 2 beta weekend events have started the first weekend event just ended i believe is ending today actually and if i had the money i would be showing you guys that so you guys should give me money for Guild Wars 2 so I can make you videos. Yeah, no one's going to do that. Next up, we're going to go for League of Legends. League of Legends has a new Refer a Friend system. They're calling it Refer a Friend 2.0. It works a lot different from um, the current version. Refer a Friend 2.0 is going to involve... Mm, how can I say this? Every friend you refer gets to level 5, you instantly get 250 IP. When they hit level 10, you're going to get an additional 500 IP. And for every friend that gets to level 10, you're going to get more and more rewards. Of course, you're going to get the 250 IP for when they hit level 5, but level 10 is the goal you are after for Refer a Friend now. Okay, and then we'll move to DC Universe Online. DC Universe Online PvP is getting a lot of noticeable changes. It's going to be really cool. They're adding a new tier set for PvP, and... Tanks are finally going to become useful. Not saying that tanks aren't useful, but the tank PvP sets are not very good. But they're doing some tweaks. I can't really explain because there's a lot of details and what's going to happen, so I'm going to give you guys the link down below. 
Also, along with the PvP changes, DCO has confirmed that DLC4 is on its way. It is currently being worked on. It is far from being told what DLC4 is going to be, what power set it's going to be, and what the story is going to be. But it's just good to know that we know that it is being worked on. So, let's get to some game celebrity quote-unquote news. Lionhead's co-founder, Peter Molyneux, I believe his name is, I pronounce that very slowly and probably wrong, has left Lionhead to join Microsoft Europe. It's kind of depressing that someone who's been with Lionhead and has made incredible games before, like Fable, and a few other games, has this gone downhill with Fable 2, Fable 3, not getting successful game selling rates, and just hasn't lived up to its expectation of the name of Fable. It's kind of sad to see him leaving, but it's good he's going somewhere where he will enjoy and he will fit in perfectly. Adam Sessler of G4 X-Play has left G4. Adam Sessler has been hosting and been done game journalism since 1998, I believe. He's leaving due to a dispute on his contract, but he still plans to still be a voice in the gaming community. So do not threat about that. So guys, I think that will wrap up this week's episode, the very first episode of this news channel. I hope to see you guys again, and please private message me for extra news, and leave comments, likes, subscribes, to help the channel grow. Thank you guys. Goodbye.